Welcome to Burnham and Barrow Golf Club. My name's David Haynes and I'm the head professional. This year, Burnham and Barrow Golf Club is 130 years old. During this period, the course has changed umpteen times since the original layout in 1891. So we've put together a short series of clips showing you the lost holes of Burnham and Barrow. Here we are on the first tee at Burnham, just as the light's fading, but a bit of beautiful sunset this evening. To quote Holt from his article in 1894, the first hole is short but difficult. In front of the tee is a hollow of rough, thick grass, often underwater in the winter, which it is today, and beyond a sand bank and dry ditch, which effectively accounts for a badly topped ball. To the left was a disused garden, and to the right, a very deep sand bunker, which is the hollow on the right of the first, and then there's drive needed necessary to stand, land you in a grassy holly between two sand hills, from which a half iron will see you onto the green beneath, which is just coming into view now, which is the dark green area. Just see the flag just to the left of the track there, which goes up to the channel course. So you can see how the green, a lot of the greens were in low line areas, which even today still remain pretty green. You can see the green patch, which was where the green was. The path which goes up to the channel course would run right through the middle of that green. It was a large flat green. So coming back down the hole, see Brent Knoll in the sunshine in the distance. And then you can see the two mounds where the saddle which you drive behind, drive between. And then there'd be bunkers to the left and right, but not bunkers as we know them today. Really it's just blown sand dunes which very very sandy and you get some awful lies 